So yesterday's rally was incredible. There were hundreds of thousands of patriots who came out to support Donald Trump. It was just nothing but love. It was nothing but positivity. It was nothing but uplifting energy for the movement. And today was incredible too, just an extension of what we saw yesterday, that this fight goes on and on. And it is a fight, don't get me wrong, it's a fight, but it's also a movement of love and positivity and patriots who are coming together to say we want a great America. That's what we want. Well, we already saw in this 2020 election, look, you know, who is or isn't our president is still being disputed. That's going to take time. But what we know is that we doubled the LGBT vote. We know that we nearly doubled the black vote. We moved tremendous points on the Hispanic vote, the Jewish vote. And walk away had a huge part in that. We were out there fighting and, and talking to these communities and doing our events. So... I'm hugely inspired by the progress that we're already seeing from the work of organizations like Walk Away Campaign. Say again. So how about this election? What do you think of this election after all the work that people have done? Well, I think that, you know, we're, we're going to have to fight until the end and, and really stay strong and stay resolute, stay firm that we support our president and that we want to make sure that we have a free and fair election. But as I said, they can never take away that so many people have walked away from the left and come over to our side to vote. They can never take that away. I wanted to support the walk away movement because I'm a walk away myself. Being from New York City, I grew up in a very democratic area. My family always voted Democrat. And so I was always told that Democrats are the party I should vote for. It wasn't until 2016, my dad walked away, I walked away, and we realized that Donald Trump is a good president for the country, and that we also realized the Democrats were lying to us. They were trying to keep us brainwashed so that we'd always vote for them, but we don't have to. And uh, so I support Donald Trump, and that's why I'm here. Yeah, there was a story in the news that... Um, from Charlottesville a couple years ago where Donald Trump said very fine people on both sides. What they cut off was 30 seconds later, he said, except for the neo-Nazis, the white nationals, and the white supremacists who should be condemned totally. So Donald Trump actually condemned all the bad people and the news didn't show that part, they lied. And when I realized that the news lied, I did research because I thought to myself, what else are they lying about? And I was surprised about how many good things Donald Trump has done for the country. Yeah, I don't think Donald Trump's divided the country. I don't think Joe Biden's divided the country. I think it's the media dividing the country. I think the media is responsible for all the division that we have in the world today and the country. Um, I think real journalism are YouTubers, people that have cameras now and we're on the ground. Like what you're doing right now, this is real journalism, right? What we see on the, uh, on the mainstream media is manufactured and taken out of context. So I, I just, at this point, I trust citizen journalists more than the mainstream media. Yeah. Thank you. So, where are you from? Hi everyone, my name is Tara Ann Shapansky. I'm with the Polish American Brotherhood and I'm from Orlando, Florida. I am a walk away. I walked away from the Democratic Party three months ago. Yes, so what happened to me was I am half Polish and half Filipino, and I had defended the Kosciuszko statue from the riots and the vandalism that occurred in front of the White House. And in that, people accused me of saying that I valued a statue more than human life. And that was not the message I was con conveying. I was condemning violence and riots at that time. And with that, it launched me down my own rabbit hole. And this is where I encourage everyone that they need to do their own independent research. Because when you do your own independent research, you can realize the true story that's out there. And I, with that, I went from being a Trump hater to a Trump supporter to now dedicating a YouTube channel to promoting information and getting as much content out there that Trump is the, an excellent president. He's done so much for the world. He's done so much for the people. And now that's my story. 
oh, a walkaway movement. Like it's been wonderful to meet other individuals who also share their own individual story of how they woke up and realized what's going on in America. And so that's what the movement means to me, to be able to find other individuals who I can relate to. This also helps us to become more vocal about what's going on with ourselves. And because there's the silent majority that's out there, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, anti-Trumpster rhetoric that's out there that causes a fear and, and makes you stay silent and shut down. So with connecting with other like-minded individuals who have the same experience, it encourages us to speak out because that's what we have to do. We have to break the silence. My name is Tara Ann Szczepanski and my YouTube channel is the Polish American Brotherhood. My name is spelled T-A-R-A. Szczepanski is S like Sam, Z like Zebra, C like Charlie, Z like Zebra, E, P, A-N-S-K-I. It's very Polish. Great job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.